Hey everybody, Dustin Zinger here, Investor Relations for Valor Metals. Joining me today as always is our VP Exploration, Colin Smith. And we're extremely excited to share our metallurgical drilling update where we hit some incredibly promising intervals from surface. Colin is gonna walk us through those right now. Great, thank you, Dustin. And this video also uh, will be in tandem really with the news release coming out on October 4th, this coming Monday here. So uh, feel free to reference that as you wish through this video. What you're looking at here is a full table of core assay results from the 10 hole program that we just drilled for metallurgy. We drilled about uh, 590 meters or so of HQ core. Six of those holes were at the Asparo deposit, the other four were at Kudu. And as you can see, I mean, the great interval summaries, uh, very impressive intervals from surface to PG plus gold. So that's platinum, platinum plus gold. Uh, the, the, the main objective was obviously to provide sample material for metallurgy, but further to that, to confirm the historically reported grades and geology of these two deposit areas. And as you can see, I mean, some of these intervals are phenomenal. 77 meters of almost three grams per ton from surface. And within that, I mean, you get some hybrid intervals of 6.5. 6.35 with almost 17 grams per ton. Uh, and that's two PG plus gold and then almost a, a half gram per ton rhodium. So that's that's good stuff. And that, that's a core photo right here. So uh, we like what we see. Uh, further to that, I mean, every hole produced a very significant interval from surface. We corroborated the historically reported grades. We increased them in some holes. And further to that, the geology was there as expected. So obviously very, very encouraging. This is a view of the Asparo deposit in itself. Uh, this outlined area here is a 3D optimized pit shell from the last resource in 2019. Historical holes are in black dots, colors, and the holes that we drilled this year for metallurgy are in the white colors. Now, uh, the intervals that we mentioned in the previous slide, those were uh, indicated in the red font here. And um, the, the resource itself is very well constrained, 91 drill holes, and uh, it's about 400, just shy of 400,000 ounces at surface. There is an additional zone about 300 meters to the east off, off map here. Uh, and further to that, we did target this area to the northwest here, called Asparo Northwest with the RC bit this year, had some good success from surface, again, 2PG intercepts from surface. And so in the next calc, we're going to look to incorporate some of these, uh, some of these drill holes from this year as well. And um, yeah, I mean, all that said, uh, we, we took a nice slice right through the entire width of the deposit for the most part. So we should have a really nice composite sample uh, for future test work. Here's the same perspective of the Kudu deposit. So again, the optimized pit shell is in the, the faded gray shape, gray shape here. The holes we drilled this year are in the white collar heads. And, uh, and again, the, the great intervals recorded in red. In terms of where this is, I mean, you look at the inset and the and inset map in the top right, we're two kilometers, just over two kilometers from Esparo. So it's about a five minute drive on a main artery road from A to B. And um, much like Esparo, I mean, Kudu is very well constrained, 34 resource, 37 resource hole, pardon. And these are drilled to much like Esparo, about 30 to 45, 50 meter centers. So uh, really tight resource, really well constrained. And, uh, and sampled material from this deposit specifically where we'll provide material for an upcoming test work program we have at ALS in Kamloops. And so uh, of that program, these are the tests that we're gonna be focusing on. So first and foremost, another PSA study. So looking at where the PGEs are, are going in terms of grain size, wh where, where the grades are held. And uh, further to that, um, a comprehensive mineralogical assessment and then really for this program, we're going to be looking at conventional test work processes. So rougher flotation, Davis tube, MagSAP rougher test. These are all very conventional. We're going to further some of the historical work that has been done at Kudu, which showed favorable results on this test work avenue. So uh, ultimately, we're going to be ending up with, with test products and assays on head fractions to, uh, to assess metallurgical recovery. And uh, assuming we get this program started in the next couple of weeks, the samples are en route as we speak. Uh, we expect results from this by the sort of mid-December. Mid it's about a two month turnaround time. So that's when we can expect uh, results from this program. Back to you, Dustin. Yeah, that's great. We have some extremely encouraging results from Surface. Again, for everybody, this news release is for October 4th, which will be linked in the video below. Uh, Colin, thank you so much. And everyone have a great day. Thanks, Dustin.